Hey guys, what's up? I'm Millie with the Flipping Travelers. We're here with another video. So today we're gonna be talking about our 10 favorite apps for RV living, so don't go anywhere. So our first three apps are based on navigation. These three apps we use beside our Garmin RV GPS just to compare routes and see what's the shortest route, etc. So the first one is called Google Maps. So Google Maps, you can download an iPhone and you can download it in an Android. The good thing about Google Maps is that you can actually download an offline map which it can guide you if for some reason you have T-Mobile like us and you have no service connection, you can download an offline map and and you can actually still navigate around the area, find places to eat. Our second app is Apple Maps. I and mean, it comes with the phone, so why not? So sometimes we just go back and forth, again, compare routes, what's the shortest route, or reviews, etc. App number three is called Gas Buddy. Gas Buddy is a must have in your RV list because it helps you find the cheapest gas wherever you are. For us, that's really important because gas is really expensive and we want to pay the least as possible to stay in budget. That completes our three apps for navigation. So besides our three uh, navigation apps, we also use our RV Garmin 660 to help us with low clearance bridges, sharp curves, and grades down a mountain. Or up a mountain. Or up a mountain. <laughs> yeah, and that's not an app, guys. <laughs> it's not an app, it's our garment. Moving on, we're gonna go to the weather. That will be our fourth app. It's called My Weather Channel. My Weather Channel, I like that app because it tells us it has the radar, it has a 15 day forecast, and it has a daily one. Every hour, it has everything. So you can keep in touch, you can figure it out what's happening in the next few hours. Also, it tells you the way the wind is going, which on the hourly base, which is something really important for us, especially pulling a, a travel trailer. We wanna make sure that we know where is the wind going, what way is the wind going, and how fast. Uh, we're going into activities and fun, my favorite planning. Uh, we're app number five. App number five is actually Road Trippers. So Road Trippers is an excellent app for you to plan your trip. You can have a starting point and an ending point, and in between your route, you can actually find things to do places to eat and you can also read reviews so you can add it to your planned trip and you can plan future trips it actually gives you um, estimated arrival time it's just an amazing app you guys should check it out so app number six so app number six is called all trails all trails is for those of you that are passionate about the outside and love hiking and sightseeing etc it gives you information on how easy moderate or hard the trail is it gives you distance it gives you pictures reviews you can read what people have said about the the trail if it's dog friendly if it's kids friendly i mean it's just truly amazing so app number seven is called foursquare so the foursquare's app actually works kind of like your city guide it basically searches your area wherever you are located and you can find nightlife you can find food breakfast lunch dinner things to do places to go i'm a review kind of person i like to read reviews and write reviews based on our experience if you like to write reviews and read reviews that's a really cool app so our last three apps are based on campgrounds and free overnight parking. Everything has to do pretty much with RVs. So app number eight is Park Advisor. Park Advisor is a free app that gives you campgrounds, national parks, um, state parks, etc. It's a free app. If you RV, you need to have it in your list. I just like going back and forth and reading reviews and that's how we make our decision on where we're going. So app number nine is called Campanium. Campanium, it's good places to park for free which is really important, especially when you're traveling a long distance. You wanna be able to find a, a good, safe place to park and also free campgrounds or free places to stay, so that's cool. You can actually filter your campgrounds by whether it's full, if you want full hookup, partial hookup, whether you want a state park, you want an RV park. It has a whole selection that you can actually narrow down what you're looking for to make it easier for you. So also this app um, offers a really cool feature. It pretty much tells you what cell phone service is in the location and how many bars it has. So that's really cool, especially for us. 
like we said before, we're T-Mobile members uh, for now. And unfortunately, the service is not available everywhere, especially in California, as we had just learned. Our last and favorite app is called Allstate. Allstate, unfortunately, mosquito, sorry. I gotta do like chat chat mosquito. <laughs> Our last app going again is called All Stays. We actually paid $9.99 for this app, but it was totally worth it. So some of the things that the All Stay app helps you to do is actually find, you can find KOA campgrounds, you can find BLMs, you can find regular campgrounds, gas stations that actually are RV friendly within your round, campgrounds that are within your round, uh, casinos that allowed overnight parking, Walmarts that allowed overnight parking because not all Walmarts and not all casinos allowed overnight parking so it's always good to know ahead of time and kind of plan your route as you go with this app that's how we actually survive <laughs> through this cross-country trip using this app it actually was one of our favorites and it helped us a ton and one main thing is that the app actually works on offline so I thought that was pretty cool okay. That concludes our ass. That concludes our ass. Hold up. Hey. Oh my goodness, we be thinking we saw. We don't play. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, man. So that concludes our video for today. Thanks for watching. If you guys liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Turn on your notifications if you haven't already done so. It helps you keep up with our videos and get notified when our next video gets posted. With that said, see you guys next time.